What's going on guys, I'm Bill and welcome to Bill's How To. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect and install a drain or channel grate. Whether you call it a drain grate or a channel grate, it's the exact same thing. This is what it looks like beforehand. Let's get straight into it guys. Let's do this. Alright guys, so today I'm going to show you how to install some channel grates or drain grates. Nice and simple to do yourself. We're working on the side of a house here that's going to be poured with concrete. So this is a perfect time to get everything prepared before you do the concrete so you don't have to cut anything later on and make a mess of things. The drain or the grate that we're using here is from Everhard and it's called Easy Drain. These ones here are super easy to install yourself, to create joints, um, to cut them down to size, put the end caps on, really simple. I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. They come in a few different depths. So this one here is an 80 mil uh, channel. You can buy them in 100 mil as well, depending on the project that you're working on. They also come in two different lengths. So you can buy them in one meter lengths, which are about $30, or you can buy a pre-made three meter length for about $70. So it works out a lot better cost wise to buy the three meter length. The joints are already reinforced from factory as well. So they're gonna be nice and sturdy. Flip it over the back. I'm gonna run through a few things later on as well. Show you how to connect everything so you know exactly how to do it yourself. This here is gonna be our outlet point. You can see a couple little notches there or ridges. This is going to accommodate for different pipe sizes, so you can slot that straight over the top, nice and easy. All you need to do is drill this center piece here out, and that's going to be our outlet. And this simply sits right on top of the pipe. So there's a little notch there, and that's going to sit just like that. Now, creating your pickup points, we've got a pickup point here in the middle and at the start of our slab luckily for me they're right next to some down pipes and that's important because that means that I've got less digging to do to create your uh, pickup points look for a down pipe follow that all the way down and that's going to lead you to the storm water so we're going to be connecting or it's already connected into the storm water and the easy way to connect this into the storm water is by using a snap T like this so you'll notice there's a slot on the back of it that simply opens up, you can snap it straight over the existing pipe after drilling a hole through it and that's going to be nice and easy. So I'll quickly show you guys a little demonstration of how to snap this one here on. It's really simple to do. So this one here is just for demonstration purposes. This one here is our sewer and not the stormwater. So make sure you always connect to your stormwater or get a plumber to do it for you. You want to dig down deep enough to make sure that it's lower than your pickup point. You take your snap tee, mark up the location wherever it's going to be positioned. Okay, drill your hole out so that's ready to go and then you simply apply glue to your snap tee, open it up and snap it over your pipe just like that. Once the glue's set, you can then make your connections ready for your outlet, nice and simple. Once you've got your outlet pipes or your pickup points ready to go, you can then get started on cutting and measuring or probably measuring and then cutting um, or your drain grates or your channel grates so that you can get them ready for your positioning. So we're on the other side of the house now. You can see once again, we've got our stormwater running. A few pickup points, one there, one there. And we're gonna install one right here on the end as well. Probably right here in between our downpipe and our water piping, we're gonna have another grate running along here. So that's gonna run probably about to about here. Okay, and the easy way to install this, we've got our 90 mil pipe. We've got a coupling right here that's gonna join our two pieces together, making sure to put glue on. So we're going to put glue, put the coupling on, cut our pipe down to size, once again glue that one on as well, and then we're going to have our elbow right here, and then we're going to have another piece of pipe running all the way up. So I'll show you guys quickly how to cut and install this one here. 750 from here, transfer those measurements over to our pipe, apply some glue. Same thing on the inside here, and we're going to drop in our coupling. So we'll let this one here set just for a couple seconds before we attach it to our existing pipe, and then once again, apply some glue. Same thing on our coupling. So now we're going to attach the elbow once again, a little bit of glue. Push that one there in, and before you completely set it, you want to just drop a level on top, make sure you're happy with that final position. 
Now we've got a little riser here that we're just going to install until the concrete is formed up. Then we can cut this one here down to size and make sure we're happy with our final position. So once again, a little bit of glue, minus the mud. Drop that one there in, and now that's ready. So now that we've got our pickup points ready to go, you can start measuring and then cutting your drain grates down to size. So if we have a look at our outlet here, remembering we're going to drill this one here out, which I'll show you guys how to do in a second. Now from the edge here to the edge of the actual channel itself is about 40 mils. So wherever we position this one here, you just need to keep in mind that we're going to have 40 mil overhang. If you need, you can cut an extension to the other side and join that once again. Um, but in this case here, we're just going to simply need an extension going across here. So we'll take our tape measure and we're going to measure across roughly. I don't want it to be hard up against either side. I want it to be probably about 100 mil or so off the edge. That way, make sure that it's completely encapsulated with concrete. And if we have a look here, I'll drop that 40 mil over the edge. And we're looking at about 1400 here so i'm going to quickly go to the grate now the three meter lengths which i'll show you guys and i'll show you how to cut it down to size all right so this one here is our three meter long length which as i mentioned before comes pre-joined from the factory and that's nicely supported right at our joint mark here so what we want to do is we're going to measure up from one side put our tape measure there on the end run it down about 1400 and we've got a joint right there at about 1405 1410 so we're going to cut it right there that little rib that you see there is where you can cut right in the middle and create a joint out of so that can be the end or it can be in a joint for another pipe to attach to as well and we're going to take our handsaw and cut straight in between these two ribs here it does cut pretty easy i've also left the top grate on as well that way we can cut straight through that one as well all in one go Once that's done, we've got a nice clean cut ready to go and now I'll show you guys how to put on our end caps and get it ready to be installed. So now we've got our drain cut down to size. If you have a look at both sides, you'll notice they're different. We've got this little section here that is the male side. Okay, you can see it protrudes a little bit longer than the other side. Even though we cut this side here down, um, this is exactly how it would look from factory. So one side has just one little rib on there, short, and it's going to connect to the male end which is a little little bit wider coming out now the way you join these ones here if we had our male end we've got an off cut piece here which is a female end that simply sits over the top and it's going to slide straight into that rib so at that point there you've now got a joint but we don't need a joint for this one here we're going to cap it off when you're working on the male side you don't need a joiner so we can take our end cap which is this one right here we take our end cap and that's going to slide straight inside the channel. It's going to fit down through that little rib and we're going to click it in because it's got a little tooth on either side and it's going to lock into place. So just simply push it in. You can hear that little click. That's now locked in. We've got our end cap. Whenever you want, you can do it before you lay the concrete or afterwards. You can put a bead of silicon inside to make it 100% uh, waterproof as well. We turn it around the other side to the side that we've just cut, which is also our factory female end. At this point here, we're going to need a little joiner. So you can see the joiner is just a little rib. It's a bit longer than the other one. Let's peel this plastic off because we don't need it anymore. These are real cheap, these fittings as well. They're literally like 50 cents, I think, from memory, each one. So they're pretty cheap. Take your little joiner. That slots over the rib. That sits like that, and then we can take our end cap, and now we're going to slot the end cap into our little joiner. Once again, we'll wait for that click. Once everything's lined up, that's one click. Second clicks in. Once again, you can put a bead of silicon inside. This one here is black, so you can put some black silicon inside. These come in a variety of different finishes for the surface, the actual grate. You can get it um, in a chrome finish or a satin finish, um, basically metal or plastic. For this one here, the concrete's going to be darker, so we're going to go with a darker plastic um, grate. 
and it's actually pretty durable. You can drive straight over the top of this. So now we've got our piece cut down to size. We've got our end caps on. Simply drop it on top. Make sure you're happy with the final position. And that's actually looking pretty good there. We've got a bit of a gap here, a bit of a gap on the other side. Now we need to drill our holes. So to remove the grate, you take a flathead screwdriver. There's a little slot on either side. Simply put it in, pop it up nice and simple. Do that along the grate for every little notch that you've got. And that one there will simply come up. Now we can flip this one here over and we can drill out our hole. So just take a hole saw bit, center that one there off. Make sure it's not on hammer function and just drill straight through. Nice and simple, we've now got that hole drilled out. Just like that, we can take our grate, reinstall that one. And once the hole's been drilled out on the other side, everything is now ready to go. Ready for the concreters to come back, form everything up. Then we can cut down this pipe to make sure this is going to be exactly finished off with our concrete level. So you basically repeat the same process for any other drains or grates that you've got around the house. You can put extensions, you can cut them down to size. Really nice and simple to do. Once everything's been concreted, it'll be completely encapsulated in. It's not going anywhere. You can even drive straight over the top of this. So once it's all formed up, we can then put in the drain, cut it down to the right height, and that's going to be perfect sitting right there. So once it's all been concreted, I'll show you guys the finished product. And once the concrete's all complete, this is what it ends up looking like. So you can see a nice, beautiful finish right there. The grate is sitting nice and flat in line with our concrete. And we've also got a bit of slope going down towards our drain. That means we're going to get all that surface water down through that grate and off the concrete pathway. I'll show you guys the other side. And this part here is the original section that I showed you guys how to cut and install it. So that's, there is the finished product. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed the video. You've learned something new. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, I'm Bill. Thanks for watching Bill's How To.